Hi guys, it's time for another Green Chef dinner and I'm not even really fully prepared to record a video. I wasn't going to, but I realized this meal sounded really good to me and it'd be a shame not to record it and see if it would be good for you. So you can watch this and know if you want to order this off Green Chef or not when you're picking out your Green Chef meals. So I decided ready or not, I was going to record a video. So here we go, we're making dinner. It's like 6.15 on a Tuesday night. People are hungry, they wanna eat, and uh, this is what we're making. Barbecue pork patties, and it comes with green beans and like a jicama slaw. And as you know, I almost always order my meals for four, which means I get two of these bags. I've already pulled out the contents of one of them, and I just thought I would go ahead and open it up and tell you what's in here. Included in this barbecue pork patty meal is a bag of shredded carrots and red cabbage, a bag of green beans, some jicama, a package of pecans, and like I've said before, Green Chef has the best sauces. Like I love their sauces and these are like impossible to recreate. It's their own recipe. I don't know what's in this, but I'm anxious to try this one because it has a barbecue sauce. And again, I have to eat gluten-free. What's exciting about this one, it's made with coconut aminos, which number one, not hardly any sugar because this meal is keto, paleo, and gluten-free. Um, so it's safe for me to eat. And then it also comes with a Creole Dijonese with avocado oil, which I love avocado oil because it's um, avocado mayonnaise because it's uh, less inflammatory. So I just am loving the ingredients, the high quality of the ingredients in these meals. So we are going to, I always fold down one of the bags and that becomes my trash. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put all my ingredients over here green beans the jicama the slaw and i think i'll give you a close-up view of all of these things right now okay so here is what you get in your meal those are the green beans the sauces the uh, avocado mayonnaise dijonese the barbecue sauce with coconut aminos the pecans, the jicama, and the shredded cabbage and carrot slaw. Here is the awesome menu card that comes with this meal. And there are the instructions I'm gonna be following. Um, so I'll kind of uh, breeze through some of this so you don't have to read all the nitty gritty, but um, this way you can tell if this is maybe a meal that you might like. Let's get started. checking out what's item number two. It is to roughly chop pecans, but I am sorry. These are already plenty roughly chopped. No chopping necessary on these. All I'm gonna do is just snip off the end of the package of the pecans so they're ready to add to whatever part of the recipe we're gonna add them to. Um, and then roughly chop the cabbage and carrots if necessary. I'm going to give them a quick rinse um, after I just quickly open their packages. Down the mat.
those to kind of give them a rough chop and they really only do need a rough chop. There's a few like big pieces of cabbage. So I just kind of take my knife through some of those big pieces. I'm not, I don't have a particular strategy here. I'm just looking for big pieces of cabbage and cutting those down to make them bite-sized. Make sure we can consume this easily once it's on our plate because this is gonna just be a slaw. All right, I think that's pretty good. A few more big pieces hiding in there. Okay, so we've done that. And then, now this is an ingredient I would never think to use on my own, which is kind of one of the things that Green Chef is great to introduce you to new tastes, new flavors, new ingredients. And this is jicama. So I think I like jicama well enough. I've just never cooked with it myself. So they send you with this little quarter of a jicama. Get both of mine out. And it says to use a vegetable peeler. And I'll be honest, it must be kind of a starchy vegetable because um, mine feel a little bit slimy. So I'll probably vegetable peel maybe the outside edges after I give these a quick rinse, but that could just be rinsed off. So I'm going to rinse them, see how that feels. Uh, and then I need to peel them and I need to cut them lengthwise into planks about one quarter inch thick and then cut those planks into sticks about one quarter inch thick. So here we go. A new ingredient I've never tried before. Well, I've eaten it. I've just never bought it and cooked with it myself. Oh yeah, just a quick rinse and that kind of little bit of slime on the outside, completely gone. So all you need is a quick rinse on those and then ready to peel and slice. To peel them, I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of like start here on the edge and peel this way. And I think these are kind of like a potato skin in a way. And just letting you know, this one has like a little bit of mold on the outside of the skin. I'm not worried about that at all because I'm peeling it completely off and I've given it a good rinse. Um, I may even give it one more rinse after I peel it just to make sure none of that residue maybe got on the part that I'm, you know, we want to eat. Oh, you can hear the dogs going crazy. I bet Chuck's home. That's a sure sign that somebody's home when the dogs go off. All right, let's see if I can get, this one's proving more difficult to get started here. Here we go. And Chuck is bringing home a treat for Addison tonight. He is bringing her home um, like fried chicken from a fried chicken place that she really likes. That's what she wanted. and. So that's what she's gonna have tonight for dinner, chicken. We'll eat this and then I get the serving for four so that we eat it for dinner. And then there's enough for Chuck and I for our lunch tomorrow to kind of keep us on track, keep us, make sure we're eating still good and healthy foods at lunchtime because otherwise that's when the splurging happens, right? And you start buying fast food and things you shouldn't eat. So let's see if I can figure out how the best way to cut this is. They say into quarter inch planks. Mine might be a little thinner than quarter inch. Oh well, I'm learning. Never use jicama. And then cut it into, lay it flat and cut it into matchsticks. Okay. So this is what I just cut mine into, these little pieces. And that's what I'm assuming just from the pictures, what it looks like. And that's the nice thing, the instruction card does tell you or give you pictures of what it should look like. So you can kind of check yourself and make sure you're doing it right. Okay. Jicama sliced. Okay, so the next step is to take the ground pork. It comes in a little square container like that. And take the ground pork mixture and add it to a large bowl. And then we are going to add some of the barbecue sauce and 
salt and pepper, and make some patties. And I always like to use these whenever I'm doing raw meat, just because it gets under like my fingernails and everything. But if you don't have these, you don't need these. But this is what the raw pork looks like in the bowl. And then we're gonna take one of our packages of the coconut amino uh, barbecue sauce. Cut off a little corner. And it just says to add about one and a half tablespoons. So that for me, since I'm doubling it, would be three. So one, two, three. I'm gonna call that three tablespoons of the barbecue sauce. And then I need salt and pepper. I'm gonna be kind of generous with salt and pepper. Okay, and then you can kind of see what that looks like now. Mix it and form it into uh, patties. And if you are buying the meal kit for just two people, one of those squares of pork, you're gonna form it into two patties. Uh, for us, since I am buying it for four, I got two packages of the pork, I'm gonna be making four patties. And I just kind of knead it around. I wish you could kind of see that, but I just kind of knead it around to make sure that the barbecue sauce gets mis mixed in. And I may even add just, I don't know, I'm just gonna eyeball that. I think it needs just a little bit more flavor. Can't have too much flavor mixed in. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that barbecue sauce. Mix it around gently, just kind of kneading it. And now I'm gonna form it into kind of a big ball. And then just eyeball cutting it in half and then cutting that in half. And then I have a really good general idea that this is about one patty. And these are hefty portions, so this should definitely fill people up. So there's one. And I'm just gonna put it right back into the bowl in which I mixed and shaped them until it's time to fry them, which is probably one of the next steps. Two. Three. Okay. About four even, semi-even uh, patties. And then I can just take those off and put those into my garbage can. Okay, so that is ready. And now it says to go ahead and heat up our saute pan with some cooking oil, get it warm, and then put in the patties. So we're gonna do that now. I have a fairly decent flame under there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm using a, a cast iron, but you certainly don't have to use cast iron. You could use really any skillet. It says to add about one and, uh, and a half tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm doing then about three tablespoons of cooking oil into my skillet. And I need to let this sit here for a few minutes and get good and heated up. Now, meanwhile, while that is getting hot, and then also while my patties are cooking, I can be working on sauteing the green beans at the same time and also mixing up the slaw. So for the sauteed green beans, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna heat up another skillet with a little bit of cooking oil in it. And really all you're going to do is saute the green beans for four to five minutes until they begin to get soft. You're gonna add in your pecans, salt and pepper, they're done. So that's pretty simple. I'm gonna be doing dual action over at the stovetop. And then for the slaw, that one's really easy. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and just mix that up to give my cast iron a few more minutes of heating up. So the slaw, I'm gonna use another mixing dish and I'm just going to get all of that into this bowl here. And then, including the jicama, and then you drizzle 
the Dijonais with avocado mayo over that. And then that is your slaw. Now I'm, I can't decide if it needs both packages of the Dijonais. So I think I'll just put in one and then see how it looks. I may end up using both of them. We'll just have to wait to see. Okay, let's toss it up and see if one package of the Dijonais is gonna be enough or if I'm gonna want both. I think that's enough dressing. I could save that Dijonais package for chicken salad or you know something else I wanna make that I want instant flavor. I think I may taste that just to see the flavor, you know, the flavor structure, components. I think it tastes real good. I think I'm just gonna do some salt and pepper and call that done. I mean, how easy is that? Okay, done, well coated, well seasoned now. Set that aside and I'll take this other package and put it in the fridge. And I'll use it for something else another time. Okay, let's head back over to the cooktop and see if we can get these pork patties on and the green beans on. And when you weren't looking, I heated up the green bean skillet already, but I didn't add any oil. So I'm just gonna do that now. And again, it asks for the same thing, like three tablespoons of oil. So I'm gonna get that warmed up. I do believe that this skillet is now hot enough for our pork patties. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on my trusty um, plastic sleeves for my cast iron skillet so that I can actually grab their handles when needed and not burn myself. Okay, I'm gonna grab this spatula for my pork patty. This is not a nonstick skillet, this is a cast iron, so I can use metal. And then I'll use this uh, metal one over here for the green beans. And these can pretty much just cook at the same time. Get something out on. So I think I'll start with my pork patties and get those on to sear. may just have to wash my hands. And this is a pretty good sized skillet. You kind of need a lot of surface area. Now the instructions say on the patties to sear them three to four minutes on each side or until fully cooked and lightly browned. And then you're going to drizzle them the remaining barbecue sauce and let them cook for one to two more minutes or until the sauce is warm through. On the green beans, we are just going to saute these four to five minutes until they begin to soften. And then we'll add the pecans, cooking another two to four minutes. And then they're done. At that point, the is ready. Put my splatter screen on there. I'm just going to let these set. I don't want to touch them because I want them to really actually form a good crust on the bottom. Just make sure they're nicely centered on the heat. And I'm just going to let those go for a little while. Here's a little trick on vegetables that you're sauteing like that. If you want to speed up their cooking process a little bit, 
add just a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna add a few tablespoons of water to that to kind of get the steam going. Okay, I want you to check out these patties. They are starting to look beautiful. And do you kind of see how the cook is starting to crawl up the edge there? That kind of is telling me where the heat is getting as it's rising up through the pork. It's kind of gonna give me a little bit of an indication as to whether or not they're done yet. So they're probably getting about a quarter of the way done because that cook line is about a quarter of the way up the patty. So I'm gonna let them set for another minute or so and then I'm gonna flip them and hopefully get a nice sear on the other side and let that cook line then work its other way up the patty. Question for you. Uh, what Green Chef meals have you tried that you love? I would love to hear your ideas. I'm relatively new to Green Chef. I've only been doing this for about um, maybe two months. And the reason why I decided to do Green Chef is because I'm a working mom and I don't have a lot of time to prep and figure out what's for dinner. And honestly, isn't that the hardest part, figuring out what's for dinner? Now I don't really have to. I just make what we have from Green Chef a couple nights of the week and it's made it so easy. Um, but I also am overwhelmed sometimes by looking at the long list of all the options available. So if you've done Green Chef, what are your favorite Green Chef meals? I'd love to hear from you below in the comments. And don't forget, like and subscribe because there's more of these kind of videos coming your way. Thanks. They're looking really good. I added that little bit of water and now they've got this beautiful, vibrant green coloration and they're starting to soften up just a little bit. Here's the heat level I have on that. So you can kind of see the um, flame under there. It's about, oh, it's pretty high. It's probably definitely medium high. I want it to get a little sizzle on those green beans. We'll just let those keep sizzling away. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper in there. Okay, I think it's time to flip the patties. This was the first one I put in. Give it a good scrape. Oh, yes. Wait until you see this up close. That is what you're looking for. I actually prefer to use a metal spatula on my cast iron because I'm able to really scrape and make sure I get all of the fantastic caramelization. I'm just letting my um, pork patties finish cooking. Uh, they're probably almost done. I can tell they're not done by this. Take a look at the pink still coming out of that pork patty over there on the right. You see that? That's just telling me that the inside is not all the way done yet. Now here's what I don't wanna do. I don't wanna smash these. I don't want all of those wonderful juices to be forced out of the patty, so I'm going to hold back. I wanna do it, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna let them sit Continue caramelizing, continue cooking, letting the heat work its way up the patty and not squish them. The next step is to coat them in the barbecue sauce and let that barbecue sauce heat through. You don't really need to cook the barbecue sauce, so we don't want to do the barbecue sauce too soon. Okay, I think our green beans are done. I'm just going to let you take a quick peek at them so you can see. You can take a look there. You can see they've got some great charring. Those are done. I'm just gonna turn those off and let them stay hot. These guys, I just um, 
turn the heat up just a little bit. The underside wasn't as beautiful as that first side. I can give you an idea of what I mean. You see, it's just not quite as good. So I'm just coaxing a little bit of browning out of the patties here. They're almost ready. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that barbecue sauce on, I think. Well, they give you plenty of sauce. There's no doubt about that. It smells fantastic in here. I am actually really excited to try this meal. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat off the pork patties and let them sit for a minute before I cut into them. But honestly, everything's wrapping up really beautifully here. It's all done, ready to go, and this was a really simple meal to make and very quick to put together. Okay, everything's done. It's ready to be plated. It's looking great. Take a look. Look how those beautiful charred green beans turned out with the pecans our beautiful pork patties with some of that sauce has like caramelized around the base that looks delicious the jicama slaw and now let's plate i'm going to toss our slaw one more time to get all of the sauce coated put a little bit here then i'm going to go ahead and grab one of these pork patties Oh, that looks really, really good. And then a nice serving of the green beans right on the side with plenty of those toasted pecans. That's gonna be one of my favorite parts of this meal. And there you have it. That is the completed meal. Now, here's how the recipe card looked. I don't know that mine looks exactly like that, but it does look pretty delicious, so I'm not get pork out and give this a try. I'm really anxious to try this pork patty. So you can see that it's done. Again, I just let these, um, I let it cook slow. It's cooked all the way through, but still moist. I didn't squish it. I'm ready to try this and my mouth is watering. Wow. I really like the barbecue sauce. This is really good. That's delicious. That pork is moist. It's, it's delectable. I don't know how to describe it. It's really delicious. I just want to eat that like crazy. It's so good. So now I'm going to try some of the green beans and pecans. The toasted pecans, delicious. I love that flavor. They're good, I mean, there's no sauce on them. It's just salt, pepper, toasted pecans, and charred green beans. It's hard to go wrong with that. That's a delicious veggie side. Okay, now for the jicama slaw. And I really don't know what to expect here, so I'm looking forward to giving this a little try. So I've got some of the jicama, some of the carrot, some of the cabbage. Let's see. Really good. The Dijonese almost has a little bit of a smoky undertone, creamy, tangy. The jicama just adds like this really nice crispiness to it. And I love raw cabbage and carrot slaw, so for me, that's a winner. This meal definitely 
gets a thumbs up. It's delicious. I would eat this again. I can tell you that my family is going to love this dish. Now, the good news is I get to pack up some of this for our lunches tomorrow and get to enjoy it twice. Stuart, do you need your test taste? Come here, buddy. Come on, have your taste test. What do you think? Is that good? Did you like it? What do you think? Is it delicious? Oh, I think he gave it a thumbs up. All right, so I'm loving this meal. I'm really eating plenty of it here, working that down. Going ahead and um, packing up the remainder of this for mine and my husband's lunches. And he actually already ate dinner somewhere else. So I've got three servings of this. And let me show you how I'm packing this up. It really makes a great lunch prep. Take a look. So I took the remaining pork patties and the green beans and just portioned them evenly into three lunch size containers. Now these are gonna get reheated, obviously in the microwave, and I don't want this delicious slaw to get reheated, so I'm gonna package those up in these glass jars. Okay, I won't lie, I made a mess, but I've already cleaned it up so you won't see it. Um, but I've got these packaged up, take a look. So I've got like my slaw here, so that'll just stay cold and get served alongside this for lunch. And just like that, now I'm prepped really for the week for lunches. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Also, I'd love to hear from you. Are these videos helpful? Does this help you decide if you would like the barbecue pork patties in your Green Chef order? Uh, is there anything I could do differently or tell you about these meal kits as they come that would help you? So please make sure to leave me a comment below, ask me a question, let me know if I can change these videos up to make them better for you so you know what to order in your Green Chef and you're never disappointed. Thanks for watching everybody, bye.